very pleased this morning to welcome Mr. Matt Greek uh, as uh, one of our uh, experts providing testimony this morning. And uh, he is actually the Senior Vice President for Research and Development at Basin Electric. You mentioned the cooperatives. Uh, Basin Electric is actually a generation and transmission uh, cooperative uh, that is owned by the Rural Electrics uh, collectively and serves about 3 million or probably more than 3 million customers in about nine states. And they're very innovative and creative, so you, you got the right person here with Matt because they're not only doing leading edge uh, technology development uh, in uh, Kofar Electric, they also have gas, they also have a lot of wind. And so they really, uh, and, and transmission, which is a huge issue, as uh, you and both the ranking member are so well aware. So they're really doing some exciting things. Um, you'll get to hear about it a little bit today, the alum cycle, which is carbon capture uh, and sequestration. And Basin also owns uh, the Dakota Gasification Facility, which takes uh, coal mined in North Dakota, converts it to liquefied natural gas, puts it in the pipeline, captures the CO2, and puts that in a pipeline and sends it out to the oil fields for secondary oil recovery, in addition to making many different byproducts, krypton, xenon, and many other things, uh, and most recently just built a half-billion-dollar fertilizer plant to make uh, urea and anhydrous from their natural gas so that we don't have to get it from Indonesia. Matt, I want to ask you about the alum cycle and um, where you are in, in, that, uh, in the process of getting that up and going and uh, how it can really crack the code in terms of carbon capture and sequestration and then the things that you need to, to really move forward with it. Uh, thank you for the question, Senator, and thank you for the gracious introduction earlier. Uh, for those who uh, don't know, the Allen cycle is essentially a supercritical CO2 cycle, and it offers the opportunity to address two of the key issues that we have relative to carbon capture, utilization, and storage, uh, those being uh, leaps in technology and in cost effectiveness. Uh, what is different about the Allen cycle is that it allows us to use a fossil fuel and produce a high-pressure CO2 stream that is uh, essentially ready coming out the back door uh, for sequestration or EOR or other usage. Uh, 